Hello and welcome to a new vault log. Today we're going to be doing a teardown and analysis of this uh, Silvercrest uh, radiator thermostat. So Silvercrest is a uh, Lidl brand as far as I know. You'll find uh, these uh, products in Lidl shops and I paid about $15 for this uh, thermostat. It's uh, compatible only with uh, radiators that have special thermostat type valves. Um, the ones that have a push pin which controls the flow and since I don't have those uh, installed on my radiators I have also pur purchased uh, one of those um, uh, thermostat valves so we, could, uh, we can see it in action. But first let's open the box of the uh, thermostat. So I get a uh, user manual inside. This looks like a uh, brochure with uh, the compatible valves and I have a uh, Giacomi uh, valve but uh, doesn't really look like the one pictured here because mine has this uh, blue plastic end cap and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to remove that or keep it but anyway here is the uh, thermostat this video is sponsored by JLC PCB, a professional manufacturer of printed circuit boards. Their website is modern and has convenient features like easy to use order form with built-in Gerber viewer, production process tracking, package tracking and single button reorder for previous orders without having to upload Gerber files again. The box said the batteries are included so yeah in here we have a couple of uh, adapter rings and uh, surprisingly they included the uh, Varta industrial uh, AA alkaline batteries so this is the first you don't get the Varta batteries too often but I guess made in Germany maybe that's why although it's hard to believe how they can build and uh, ship something like this from Germany for uh, just $15 retail price and they also give you this uh, screw in here I'm guessing this is uh, used to hold the adapter rings we'll see about that later now this uh, thermostat doesn't have any kind of wireless uh, connection you have to set it up uh, manually using these uh, buttons However, I've noticed that in other countries, Lidl sells a similar model, looks the same, but also has a Bluetooth connection that you can use with a smartphone app to uh, configure it with ease. I'm going to go ahead and speculate that Lidl decided to sell these uh, so-called budget thermostats without the Bluetooth module in East Europe well, they sell the better equipped module in Central and uh, West Europe. Let's uh, try to put some uh, batteries in and install the thermostat on the valve I, I've got to see if uh, we can take a look at how it works. And the motor started working and I, I can see the a pin inside moving the gray part so it probably tried to detect the valve I can also see what looks like a small thermistor in here a surface mount thermistor uh, it looks like maybe an 0603 packaged SMD uh, thermistor which is right here so the judging by the uh, exposed uh, slot so that it can uh, couple with the ambient air um, I think they use that for temperature sensing and I've always wondered how can they sense the uh, temperature so close to the uh, radiator uh, because this is going to be sitting like 10 centimeters away from your radiator which is going to be hot um, so how can they get uh, an accurate reading uh, because one or two meters away where you would normally sit it's going to be colder but anyway, this is how they do it on all of these uh, thermostats. 
Now looking at the uh, valve, you can see it has a pin on this side and this is the uh, pin that controls the flow of water through this uh, valve and if we look inside, if I push that pin, you can see that rubber part that moves in and blocks the uh, water uh, path. So I would say this is a normally open valve and if this pin is pushed, it will um, block the flow of uh, water. Now let's see if I can install this, maybe using one of the adapters on the uh, thermostat. For the past 15 minutes I've been trying to install this uh, without any luck and in the process I've also stabbed myself with a screwdriver and I'm starting to believe uh, uh, these two are either not compatible or I need uh, an extra adapter. So from, from this list I have a uh, Giacomi uh, a valve but it, it doesn't look like uh, what they show here so maybe this is uh, an adapter that you need to install over this valve to make it compatible with the thermostat i've also tried removing this uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, blue plastic ring and it doesn't make any difference i just uh, can't get a good fit with the uh, included uh, black plastic rings so i'm guessing you need to purchase an additional adapter from this company which is a bummer because uh, you buy this from the shop you get home and you realize you can't really install it on your radiator and that doesn't uh, sound good to me so it's either that or this particular valve that I have is uh, incompatible and I needed to get maybe a, a valve with a different uh, mounting style but anyway, that doesn't uh, stop us from continuing with the third down, just to see how this thing works. So far, I know that gray uh, part is uh, actually a motor controlled plunger, and I can hear the motor um, when I select install or adaptation from the menu. So yeah, uh, apart from that, we might also see a chip microcontroller, maybe even a blob of epoxy. Uh, obviously a cheap LCD, a motor with the required driver which could be an H-bridge in this case for easy reversal of the um, uh, rotational uh, direction if they use a DC motor. And I'm guessing they use a DC motor because well this is a cheap product. So let's see how we can take it apart now. This is interesting, we don't seem to have any screws, so I'm guessing this is held together with uh, clips. Okay, so that was easy. We can see the PCB with the electronics. This is the rotary encoder. We have a DC motor and a really big uh, uh, reduction for this motor in order to get the torque necessary to push that uh, plunger because uh, it's not easy to push this even by hand you do really need to put a decent amount of force to push that pin so that's why they need this uh, big reduction on the motor to get the torque necessary. So I kind of like how it's built because it's very easy to assemble and disassemble. You have the uh, motor and they even have a connector on the motor. It's not soldered. So obviously they built this thing uh, to be easy to assemble. And it looks like the PCB is attached to the case by melting those uh, plastic pins. So I'm going to have to cut those to remove the PCB. I've taken a closer look at this uh, thermostat and its internals and uh, I have identified a few things. So here is the um, front case, it's uh, one single piece. Here is the uh, LCD connected with a uh, thin zebra strip. Uh, here is the uh, main PCB. We have an encoder here, looks very similar to the ones used on uh, computer mouses. Uh, the microcontroller we have here is an MB95F374L. It's made by uh, Cypress. It's now an obsolete part, but uh, 
I can looking at its data sheet I can understand why they chose this part it was um, I think their main requirement was to have an LCD driver and this microcontroller has a built-in LCD driver it has a 10-bit ADC so they can read the thermistor with that and it also has 20k of flash which should be enough for this application also cost was probably uh, a good factor for choosing this microcontroller i think these were very cheap to get uh, right here it seems like we have some kind of uh, opto electronic device uh, this i think it used to detect the uh, movement of the motor we probably have an ir led here and an ir detector which shines light in this uh, small opening in the um, motor reduction box and right here this wheel moves as the motor turns and as you can see it has that small white uh, plastic part that will uh, turn in front of this sensor and I, that is used to detect um, how far the uh, motor has moved and if it's stalled or not there is no uh, current detection on the board so that is uh, what they use to detect the uh, end of race for the motor. Here is the H bridge, which is made with uh, discrete transistors. And uh, that goes uh, to the motor, which uses a JST connector. That's very nice to find in such a, a cheap product. Um, on this side, we have the uh, small thermistor with some cutouts to maybe isolate it from heat generated on this PCB. Uh, we have the three tactile switches and the uh, crystal oscillator for the microcontroller. Other than that, uh, we find a um, model number for this product, Comet SCFJ. We have a bunch of test points which are probably used for the in-circuit uh, programming and also for the testing of this uh, board. Uh, we have a couple of uh, nipples on this side of the board which uh, uh, make contact with the battery terminals so all in all I really like the construction of this product it's really built uh, like with the, uh, with the ease of assembly in mind so this would be very easy to assemble on an assembly line uh, I've also identified the company that makes this uh, thermostat for Lidl they are called Aerotronic uh, Technology GmbH so they're a German company and uh, it looks like they make the, uh, their parts uh, in Germany because uh, we can also see this uh, motor assembly which is uh, uh, marked Eurotronic and uh, I think they make these de themselves. I'm not sure how they're able to produce them at uh, such a low cost. Like You can imagine that if Lidl sells this for $15 in their stores they're probably getting them with something like seven or eight dollars from Aerotronic technology, maybe less. So how on earth can they build this uh, down to this cost? I'm not sure. And uh, it doesn't feel cheap inside. I mean, they have a gold plated PCB and they have a connector on the motor. You wouldn't find something like this on a cheap Chinese product. The motor would be soldered directly to the PCB and uh, you wouldn't find a gold-plated PCB. I know some of you would also like to take a look at this uh, reduction system. So I'm taking it apart for you. Let's hope wheels don't start flying around. Yep, so as expected, uh, we get quite a bunch of uh, cog wheels in here to get that uh, reduction. They're all plastic so I'm not sure how long they will last but if they're built from uh, the right materials they should last one thing that strikes me is there isn't a lot of grease inside this uh, mechanism maybe a thin layer of silicon oil maybe but uh, there is no other kind of uh, grease on these wheels one last thing i would like to mention before ending this video is the uh, power consumption so I couldn't uh, have it installed on a valve and uh, check the uh, actual standby current but I would assume this uh, error mode where it doesn't detect it being installed on a valve 
uh, it's pretty equivalent to its um, normal standby mode so while being in standby I'm going to coat it at uh, 27 microamps and while it is adjusting the um, uh, valve through the motor it's uh, pulling about 65 milliamps and that takes uh, a full adjustment takes about uh, 10 seconds I would say so uh, considering these uh, values you could calculate the uh, battery life but it would depend on how many adjustments uh, it would have to do on your particular setup I think that's a pretty low power usage and uh, considering the two AA batteries that it uses I think it's a pretty well optimized uh, system and with that I'm going to end this video with where I did the uh, teardown of the Lidl uh, slash Silvercrest uh, radiator thermostat it was uh, pretty interesting to find out uh, it is so well optimized for production and uh, for assembly I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and maybe hit the thumbs up uh, button on this video thank you for watching and i'll see you next week